With spring on the way, will people begin to search again for their next home? And what can we expect to see this year in the property market? Hi all, I'm Jack and this is your winter market update for Newport and the surrounding areas. The autumn statement provided a sobering assessment of the UK economy, but forecasts for the housing market were less dramatic than the global financial crisis in 2008, where banks lent out more money than borrowers could afford to pay. Today, only an estimated 4.2% of homeowners have less than 10% equity in their home, so this event shouldn't be used to compare against the market we see currently. Following the September 2022 mini-budget, the massive hike in mortgage rates caused a shift in the market, with many agents across the UK reporting a reduction in the number of inquiries, viewings, offer sales, valuations, a far cry from where we were in the summer of 2020. After two months of falls, average new seller asking prices rose again by 0.9% in January, the biggest January increase since 2020, as the New Year sellers tested the market. However, average asking prices are still at £8,720 lower than their peak in October. But is it worth noting that nationally the amount of price reductions seen in January 2023 compared to 2022 was a whopping 140% more? So it looks like many of the sellers who did try and cover any losses by increasing their asking prices were met with no viewings and no offers, thus forced to reduce their asking prices. The number of prospective buyers contacting agents is at 4% compared to the same period in 2019 and at 55% compared with the two weeks before Christmas, the biggest New Year bounce since 2016. Since the Bank of England base rate increased to 4%, mortgage rates have actually continued to fall, showing that lenders are becoming more competitive. Year on year, nationally, house prices between November 2021 and November 2022 have still increased by around 10.11%, which should more than cover any predicted price falls over the next few years. But as history has showed us, previous predictions of price falls, such as during Brexit or during lockdown, were squashed by price increases. So is it worth taking some opinions, especially that of the media, with a pinch of salt? So over the last 50 years, there have only been four years where prices have reduced. So again, history would tell us that any falls in house prices will be short-lived in the long run. According to Land Registry, year on year, between November 2021 and November 2022, the County of Newport average house price increased by £21,000, a rise of 9.63%. Detached properties increased from 379000 to 417000 Semi-detached properties increased from 228000 to 251000 Terrace properties increased from 166000 to 183000 and apartments increased from 117000 to 124,000. Currently on right move in the county of Newport, there are approximately 1,506 homes advertised, of which 731 are marked as under offer, meaning that 48.53% of all homes advertised have a sale agreed. This would indicate that we are in a balanced market. This also shows a strong market locally compared to other areas of the UK, where some areas are only 30 to 40% of properties that are advertised are currently under offer. So what does this mean for the market as we head into spring? With more choice on the market and homes taking longer to sell, could now be a great time to try and find your perfect property. But if you are thinking of selling, is it worth paying attention to how you price and present your home to the market with so much more competition amongst rival sellers? So if you wish to discuss your plans this year or just want to talk about the property market in general, I'd love to speak to you. Thanks for watching.